God. Bleach chapter 560. Rangers at ringside. Now I'm going to tell you off rip. All right? I'm disappointed in the chapter. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh, did y'all just hear what he said? Ace, he actually said he disliked a Bleach chapter. Like what? I know that's what a lot of you are saying. Shut up. Because I'm going to go into why I do not like it. This chapter. Now, of course, it's me, Captain Vizard. It's me live action. You already know what it is. Here to bring you this week's Bleach chapter review. Now, of course, this chapter fell very short. I mean, very short. We see damn Mucho Flex. He goes over to Ruki and Renji. He sees him falling out the sky. And as he's making his way over there, Hisagi, we see he's in Shikai, wraps the chain around his ankle. He yanks the chain, clothesline Hisagi. His head bounces off the piece of rock. He lands on the ground. He goes to step on him. And we see Kensei. He comes to the mix. Block Mucho Flex's foot, introduce himself, you know, my name is Ken Say, you know, Captain Squad 9. And the thing is, Mucho Flex tell him, look, it's good that you're a captain, but, you know, I want to go over there, you know, to the more epic area. I want to be known for taking out what's over there. And at the time, Rose, he comes in, and he says, well, you'll really stand out if you take on two captains. So he said, fine, all right, let's do this. Kensei says, I won't waste your time. He goes, Bunkai, Tekken, Tachikaze, he starts putting it to Mucho Flex. And at the time, you know, he, he's really putting it to him. He blows him away. You know, and then we see the little midget, tiny James Mini Me. He says, "No, no, Mister, no, Mister, a superstar. You're a superstar." He starts whining, and moaning, and bitching, and then out of nowhere, Mucho Flex get a big ass power boost, comes back because Asagi he does tell Kensei, like, "Look, you have to take out the little guy." And we see Mucho Flex. He takes out Kensei and Rose, knocks him far back, and he flexes and pronounces the letter that he stands for, and that was it. That's it. Now, let's start from the top, all right? I did not expect this to happen. I actually expected Renji to fight Mucho Flesh or Superstar, you know, in this chapter. But this is the thing. This is what pisses me off. Yet again, here we see the Visors getting punked. And like I said before, it seemed like the Visors stand a very good chance against these Quincy's because they have hollow powers. All right. First things first. See, there's more bad in this chapter to me than there is good. It kills me what Kensei said. He went bunkai. You know, mucho flex. He goes to do that that damn wrestling drop kick, the same wrestling kick he hit with Renji, and he blocks it. And he says like ridiculous, like has Sagi lost to this? But see, what killed me with that statement is the fact that, damn it, last time I checked, Ken said he's stronger than Hisagi. He has hollow powers, and he was in Bunkai, all right? So, of course, that dropkick isn't going to seem like anything. You know, that's what killed me. And then at that point when um, uh, Ken say he blew uh, Mucho Flex away, Rose, he's going to stand up, well, I guess there's nothing for me to do. Motivator. Last time I checked, you have numerous amounts of targets all over this area. Go towards them. Or what I would have loved, what I would have loved to, have, to have happened is this. Once he blew him away, while he's flying into that building, you know, Rose should have said, hey, save something for me. He go Shikai, take the whip, wrap it around his ankle during mid-flight, yank him down something. Show the two working together. It should have went like that. Now, another thing with them not using their mask. This is a prime example. That's what happened when they don't think. I don't know why Kubo does this. We've seen this happen with Shinji. Look, we all know where Shinji at. Still, just lay it out. Just ass out. Just lay it out. Right now, he's probably in his inner world. and His inner hollow is probably like, your ass still don't learn. You know, he's probably getting lectured. Maybe fighting his inner hollow. Who knows? But that's what happens when you underestimate your enemy. They should know, alright, these ain't our rank cars. Alright, these are not his spot. These are Quincy's. You know, we, a lot, you know, a, a lot of these, uh, Characters in Bleach, a lot of these Soul Reapers never even fought against Quincy. They just read about him, heard the tales, the legends, the myths, you know? And we see now this is what happens. If this is a war, they're fighting to the death, you know? Look at, we, they, they should see already what they're capable of. They swapped out the area. You know, they expect the Quincy's to use bow and arrow, and they're not using bow and arrows. They have their own signature abilities. And, and if, I, if I was a visor, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's their weakness. Okay, the, the hollow stuff, okay, I'm going to use that. You know, they want to play around with the Shikai, show off with the Bunkai. Damn it, go all out. Go all out. Why Shinji didn't even do that when he was fighting Aizen, I don't know. 
it seems like I'm starting to see the visors are not that damn bright, you know, I, I, because I don't get it. Or maybe the, it's just something up with Kubo, the way he's doing this. I don't understand it. And another thing, look at Rose. Rose, he probably could have took out na 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 nah. But did he? No. Why? Pussyfooting around for whatever reason and did not holify. Didn't holify. Didn't take out na na na. If anything, I wouldn't be surprised if na 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 would have came in on a mix, told Mucho Flex, look. You take the white hair one. I'm about to get this blonde hair one. And you know, it would have been a rematch between Nana and Nana Rose, but that wasn't the case. You see, Rose just standing there. His ass got taken out. And he, and he has a bunk high as well. I, it's just, and some of you are probably saying, oh, Ace, you probably dislike the chapter due to the fact that, you know, you don't like Mucho Flex. But my thing is this. Yes, I do not like Mucho Flex, a.k.a. Superstar. He looks dumb as hell. There is not one ounce of interest in that character. For, like, it's, I don't have no interest in him. Not at all. He looks stupid. His ability is stupid. I mean, the little James, he says superstar cheer for him. He plays cheerleader. And then he gets a power boost. I guess that's how, like, what the hell is that? To me, contrary to your belief, you, you may disagree. That sounds more retarded than Jackie's uh, dirty boots. At least I had a slight understanding of her ability, you know, a better understanding of her ability when she explained it. You know, it gave it a justifiable reason, even though I would have changed it. You know, even though her boots got dirty by the blood, I would have, you know, if her brother, I would have done it to where, you know, I would have made it darker, more grotesque. You know, I would have had, you know, right when she wanted to get that power up, she cuts herself, you know, and she puts blood on her boots. Let the blood drip down her boots, then they get power ups. I, I would have did that, but we see that didn't happen. But this... This mucho flex BS? No, nah, and then Hisagi, man. Why he he gets punked again. Gets punked again. Now yes, he got that was a sneak attack last chapter, right? And it's good that he wasn't down for the count. We see, I guess, Ikaku and uh Yumachika, they're probably still knocked out because we didn't see them get up. But then Hisagi, you know, he does activate the Shika, but he must have got yanked so fast because I ought to let go. Uh, let go. Like I said, he got yanked so fast, and his ass got clothesline taken out. And then Ken said he's just scolding him. And Mashiro, where the hell is Mashiro? You know, I bet she wouldn't hesitate to put on her hollow mask. You see, she had on her hollow mask when she was training with Hisagi. Plus, I think Kensei told her to stay back because we all know she has a tendency to like to follow him and join in on the battles. And he says, no, stay back. And she throws a temper tantrum. And they probably, yeah, yes, the credit. They did show her doing a little temper tantrum. But. Another thing is the fact that with, um, oh yeah, with Kensei, the good thing of this chapter, you know what, I could only think of three things good with this chapter, and out of the three, the two can probably just get erased. I was going to say the two good things we see Kensei, we, we got to see Kensei and Rose, they came in, and we got to see, and we got an explanation of uh, Kensei's Bunkai. But then again, like I said, the other three, them two could just get swept away because, yeah, they showed up, but they got knocked back just like that. And it's cool, like I said, we got an explanation of this Bunkai, you know, the Tekken Tachikaze, and he, the sharp points, they didn't they go in, you know, he was just putting it to them. That part was cool, but it didn't matter because after you blew them away, you know, they thought that was it. Did he think he killed them? I can understand if he was hitting him so hard, he blew a hole in his chest, like blood and guts go flying everywhere. Like it was just a big hole, like what uh, Tsukushima did to, to Byakuya. But that wasn't the case. They should have kept on um, pursuing the enemy. And this is what happens. It, 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 it's just retarded, man. And now, true enough, true enough, okay. All right. To be fair, I think they will. I don't think they're down for the count. All right, because we see Mucho Flex hit Hisagi with a body slam. All that weight. Boom. Down on him. And, you know, he just, he, he told him, like, you thought you KO'd me? Like, no, nah, he got back up. So, true enough, I don't think Kensei and Rose are down for the count. They just got knocked into some buildings. And Bleach getting knocked into a building, you can bounce back from that. But this is what I love to see. This is how this whole scenario, this battle can redeem itself in my eyes. Next week, as it seems, Mucho Flex, he goes over to kill Hisagi, or Hisagi goes bunkai and says, oh, you did that to my captain, I'm a, you know, I can't let him down, you know, in front of, uh, in front of him, and he goes bunkai, he tries to fight him, he still loses, and out of the rubble, you see Rose and Kensei with their hollow masks saying they're ready to go, and Rose goes bunkai, 
that will be a very good chapter as of next week. That will be very good, but who knows how it'll go. You know, and we see Renji and Ruki, they are in quite a few, they like quite some miles away from the, uh, area, from the area. So maybe it'll take some time to get over to where the battle is, who knows. But I wanted Renji to fight him. Maybe he still will. But just the way this, like, it just don't make any sense at all. I, 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 I'm not going to lie, I actually sat there and was like, I'll stay up for this. After I read that chapter, man, I told Charles' Anime World, he, because Charles' Anime World, he asked me, he said, are you going to make the review now or make it later? I said, man, I'm about to go to sleep and make it later. I'm like, this, no. So I'm not even going to give this an okay. You know, I was just, no, I, I just wasn't pleased with the chapter. All right, that's, so that's just my thoughts. So give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Oh, damn. I hope next week be a whole lot better. It's me, Captain Vosbase. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Signing out.